With Google SketchUp, you can easily prove that any three- or four-sided polygon can tessellate. We'll start with an easy example, an equilateral triangle. Start in top view and activate the polygon tool, which has a default number of sides set to 6. To change this, type 3, which appears in the sides field, and press enter. Click the center of the triangle, then click a corner point. Copying is done by using the Move tool. First activate Select and click the triangle to select it. Then activate Move. Press the Control key or Option on the Mac which makes copies. For the two move points, click two corner points of the triangle. Then to add more copies, type 5x which appears in the Length field and press Enter. Now we have six triangles. To spice things up, I'm going to paint these triangles. Click the paint bucket icon, find the colors you want to use, and click a color, and click the face you want to paint. Now we'll copy the whole row of triangles. Press Control A or Command A on the Mac to select everything and activate Move. Press Control or Option for copying and click two points to copy the row into some blank space. Keep this copied row selected and activate Rotate. Click to place the protractor somewhere near the triangles. Click another point to set the rotation start angle, then move the mouse to rotate the triangles. When you see 180 in the angle field, click to finish the rotation. You could also just type 180 and press Enter. Keep this flipped row selected and use the Move tool to join the two rows which fit perfectly together. Use Control A or Command A to select everything again and use the Move tool to make a copy of the two rows. Then type 3x and press Enter for a total of eight rows of tessellated triangles. Tessellations will work with any triangle. This time use the Pencil tool to create an irregular triangle. Make a row of these triangles. Copy and flip the whole row. Join the rows together and make a few more copies of both rows. You can tessellate triangles even when you don't copy them at corner points. Start with a triangle like this and copy it like this. Add a few more triangles to the row and the rest is the same. Copy, flip, and join. And these two rows make a perfect tessellation. Any four-sided shape or quadrilateral can also tessellate. If you create a rectangle, you can create rows and columns without having to flip anything over. But what about a quadrilateral like this? No problem. Just make a copy of it at opposite corner points. Complete the row. Copy and flip the row. Join the rows as before. And add more rows. The only other regular polygon that can tessellate is a hexagon. Activate Polygon, make sure the number of sides is set to 6, and draw a hexagon. Add more hexagons to the row, and copy the row to make a honeycomb pattern. 
There are some irregular pentagons that can tessellate. For example, this one can be rotate copied around twice and tessellated like this. This is another irregular pentagon that can tessellate. These patterns are also made with irregular pentagons. Here's an irregular hexagon which tessellates. And here's one more tessellation of an irregular hexagon.